working on this prime rib. I'm going to use three different rubs on this prime rib. I'm going to do the base layer with my E-Blend. It's got your salt, your peppers, your garlic. And then I'm going to do a uh, just a light coat of this Dirty Bird Hot. And then I'm going to hit it with the outer coat with the more coarse stuff of the Suckle Busters. That'll give it that texture. I think that'll work out perfect. I'm going to throw a little olive oil on it to, as a kind of a binder. Plus, that'll help the crust kind of thicken up a little bit. You know, I think I am going to pull this off here in a little bit and maybe throw it on the Titan, get a little char on it. I think that'll be good. This thing is sitting at about 106. So when it hits about 120, 125-ish, I'm gonna take it from the 26 inch, throw it on the Titan, get a nice sear on it, a little bit of char. I think that char is always important because char is amazing on meat. It's sitting at about 112 right now, but I wanna put a really good char on the outside of it, so I'm gonna might let it cook a little bit longer. Uh, I've heard a couple different things, people reverse searing them, but I want to put a little bit more char on the outside, especially cooking over this wood. I want to give it a little bit more wood flavor also. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off at 112. I'm going to leave my probe in and just let it get to uh, probably 145-ish, maybe 150. All right, I got this thing transferred over. You can see the color on it is really good. Um, I just want to get that char the bark on the outside of it, it's sitting at 114 right now. I'm gonna take it to probably 145-ish. That should be a good temperature. That's about, I don't know, I, they say rare, but it's a little bit more, I think. I might take it to about 150. I don't like rare. That's just me personally. But I think with that crust on there and all that, it'll probably be pretty good. So we're sitting at 114. We got a little bit of ways to go. So I'm just gonna cook it every little bit. I'll flip it every couple minutes or so just to get that char even on the meat. This is my first prime rib that I've ever done. So you know I gotta throw my twist on it. A lot of people sear, reverse sear them and stuff like that, but I had to throw my own little twist and sear it on over the fire. Uh, I haven't really looked up any videos on how to do a prime rib, but this is the way that I'm going to do it. I think it'll turn out pretty good. As most cooks go, because I start them at midday or in the evening, feels like it's going to get dark on me. Well, as some of my videos usually go, it got dark on me. So, I'm going to check this thing out. It's sitting at about 132. Let's take a gander. My goodness. All right. I'm sitting at about 140. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. That should be a little bit above rare. should be closer to a medium rare. 
uh, I think that'll be perfect on this uh, prime rib. Let's look at it. Look at that beauty. Okay. Yeah, this is happening. I'm gonna do this outside here. I like the outside atmosphere, even though it's dark. Um, <clears throat> give you all a different look at it, and the reality of it is sometimes it gets dark when you're cooking. So what I'm gonna do, Let's do a quick recap. Took a prime rib, just a small one, cut about a two inch steak off of it for my wife, and seasoned this with some E-Blend, Dirty Bird Hot, and Suckle Buster Steak Rub. This has been cooking for a couple hours now, and uh, I pulled it off, put it on the Titan, seared it, Got that char on the outside of it, threw it back on the 26 inch, let it finish out, took it to 140, and here we are. It's been sitting here for a minute. I'm going to cut these strings off and I'm going to slice into it and see how we did. Man, look at that. Look at the juices running out of it. God, that's good looking stuff right there. Well, all I gotta say is it looks amazing. Most of you knows what's coming. I'm gonna slice a piece of this off and give it a shot here. Man, this is so tender. Jeez. There it is. Cooker's reward. Cheers. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Man, you can taste all the rubs gives it that saltiness that char that I wanted to get my gosh that's the best thing I've ever had man that's good jeez cut this fat off of it see the char on there it looks I don't know if you can see it or not it looks like it's burnt on the outside, but it's not. It's just straight up char. Everything you can see on the inside of this meat here, everything is perfectly cooked. You got that char on the outside. It is absolutely amazing. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> My goodness. I'm happy with that right there. Man, hey, thanks for joining me, y'all. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm about to go in a meat coma here in a minute. Thanks, y'all. Till next time.